Hi YouTube. Uh, this past Christmas my wonderful wife got me this port cable dovetail jig. Um, this is a 4210 which is the half blind dovetail jig. Um, and we're going to unbox it and just see what's in it. Uh, user Owner's manual, very important. This is certainly more substantial than the last one I had. Uh, just to just to give you a little color on my experience with the dovetail jig, I did have a dovetail jig, but it was like one of those fifty-dollar dovetail jigs that you get at uh, um, Harbor Freight. Not that there's anything wrong with Harbor Freight or their equipment. It's just this one was, you know, it was a cheaper model. And on these templates right here, these fingers. That was all plastic. So I, I was reading the instructions. I was going through it. I had my router. I thought I had my routers set to the correct height. And I went to use this for the first time. And I'm using it. And I'm like, what is that smell? I smell plastic burning. And sure enough, I was going through those fingers on the template. Uh, that was the first and the last time I used a, uh, a dovetail template. and. The last time I attempted to do anything with the dovetail until now so this is a much more substantial um, so here's the jig itself it also comes with uh, Allen wrench and a dovetail router bit um, cool so let me see, I'm going to get this mounted to the workbench and as soon as I've done that, then we'll pick up from there. Thanks. Okay, so what I've done is I mounted the dovetail jig to a couple of pieces of plywood, uh, scrap plywood. And um, I did this because I didn't want to permanently mount it to my workbench because that's just stupid. So. I just took a couple pieces of scrap plywood, uh, screwed them together, and then I screwed the jig onto it, and I, I'm attaching clamps to the plywood, and so this, this sucker's not going anywhere. Um, yeah, so that'll work, that'll work fine. And again, let's see here. For those of you who aren't familiar, we're going to have the, the top diagram. That's Those are through dovetails. I can't do those with this template that I have. I have to purchase another through dovetail template, which I plan to do. But the half-blind dovetails, this is the 4210. It's the half-blind dovetails, and that's what, I, what we're going to attempt here once I figure out how to uh, properly and you know uh, work the the jig so and then you have rabbited <coughs> half blind dovetails finger joints and sliding do dovetails so um, this thing when you have all the all the uh, templates it's pretty versatile um, and to be honest uh, you know it it's it's middle of the road it, you know there are some jigs out there where you spend you know close to eight hundred dollars um, and this thing was far from that but it it wasn't you know like the the cheaper you know sixty dollar versions that that you can find out there so I'm gonna read up a little bit and when I come back uh, hopefully we'll have some some wood in the jig all right see you then Okay, so the uh, Porter Cable Dovetail Jig also comes with what's called a template guide. And what this does is you're supposed to put this on the plate of your router. Um, and this, this will go inside these fingers perfectly. So 
this is what actually makes the dovetail, but it has to, you know, you have to have this collar because it's designed to fit in between these fingers. Now, my problem is I have a Bosch router, not a Porter cable. This is not going to fit in here. So, I had to buy an adapter. Here are the adapters. I have to put this template guide inside here. like it's in. Now here, okay, on, on Bosch routers, uh, you have this little clamp. You have to loosen the clamp. And then this tab right here, you got to push in. And that brings the motor all the way down so you can work with this. It's not too difficult to install this. Just going to take the wax off my bit here. I think it's wax. Wax or plastic. Okay, the way you set the depth of your router bit is there's this notch in here in the uh, in the template and you're going to stick your template guide in that notch and you're going to lower the bit until it rests on this factory set stop. Once, it, once your dovetail bit rests on that stop, that should be the perfect depth. So let's go ahead and give that a shot here. I don't know if you can see that. Again, let's let's try this again. See if we can we can see it better. I'm going to fit my template guide thusly, and I'm going to lower. Okay, right now my bit is touching the factory set stop, so I'm going to go ahead and lock that in. Okay, so here's the box I want to practice making a dovetail, a half-blind dovetail uh, joint. And I'm going to be using the dovetail jig to do this. And the way that the owner's manual teaches you to lay everything out, is you mark your pieces, this eye, you, you mark it with an eye for interior, it's the inside of the box. And so I have eyes on all four pieces. And then you want to line up each corner. So A to A, B to B, C to C, oops, C to C, and D to D. 
And then I also have a T for tails, that's going to be the sides, and the P for pins, that's going to be the front and the back. And the way the uh, owner manual, what they want you to do is they want you to take the pin piece, either the front or the back, and it says that the outside, outside piece should be facing the jig. So we're going to put this in here, and they tell you to take the template and put it back down on your piece. Now the position of your piece isn't important at this time. What they want, what they're mainly concerned about is that it's even. So you, it's not going to be up on the left side or the right side. They want you to put your hand on the piece. They want you to put your hand on the template which is flat against the piece and then you're supposed to dog down these side bolts here. Okay. So this is all nice and flat. Now you can take your tailpiece and you're going to put it in the vertical position. Now, one thing they tell you to do, you have to, it has to be symmetrical between these, uh, let's see, the four fingers. It has to be the same distance on this side as it is on this side. So I'm just going to go ahead and get a ruler and make sure that that distance is in fact even and correct. Pretty even. Okay. Oh, by the way, these are all cam activated, which is it's just quick release. It's a nice, nice feature. Um, okay. So then it tells me, they tell me to loosen. this offset hex nut right here. Bring it all the way to the left, which I did. Okay, now that the, now that these, now that your vertical tailpiece is even, evenly spaced, they want you to put the offset up against your piece and tighten it down with a hex wrench that was provided. Okay. Now, I'm going to come in here. I'm going to move this up and move this back until it hits the offset guide. Now I'm just going to dog this down. Well, now's the moment of truth. Let's see if we can put these pieces together.
pretty decent. I have some tear out, which I guess I should use a sacrificial piece alongside these pieces to avoid the tear out, but it, it's not bad. It's not bad at all. Little glue, and that joint is never coming apart, ever. So, kind of happy with it. Um, overall, I'm, I'm very pleased with this. Um, I do have uh, some some tear out here. Uh, next time I do this, I'm going to use a sacrificial piece alongside the pieces that I'm uh, cutting the dovetails into just to avoid the tear out. But it's, it's fairly snug with a little bit of glue. This joint is never coming apart, ever. So, uh, and just from a decorative perspective, it's, uh, or a static perspective, it's, uh, it's, it's beautiful. So that's a half blind dovetail joint right here. Um, as soon as I get uh, the other templates uh, for a, a through dovetail and a box joint um, and a sliding dovetail, uh, I'll go ahead and, and post a video of those as well. Hopefully they'll be as easy as this one. I wasn't expecting this one to be as easy because as I mentioned the first time, it was just a miserable experience with the jig, but this was, this was fantastic. Um, and I can't wait to, uh, to get my hands on the other templates. Okay, thanks for watching. Oh, and if you like this, hit the subscribe. Thanks, guys.